New details this morning in a horrific story you first saw here on KPRC2. A Brazoswood High School student beaten at a party by fellow students. Right now, 16-year-old Cole Hagen is in the intensive care unit at Memorial Hermann Hospital. Within the past hour, police released the mugshot of the teen they have in custody charged in the case. He is Reed Mitchell. KPRC2's Brittany Jeffers joining us live from the Texas Medical Center with the very latest in this case. Brittany, good morning. Good morning. Several updates this morning. Uh, as you mentioned, that teenager still in the hospital. I've been checking in with Cole's brother, and he tells me that he is off the ventilator, but he said that he did have a rough night. In the meantime, you mentioned that update from police. We received that in the past two hours telling us that a 17-year-old has now been arrested and charged in this case. We're also learning that more arrests may be coming. This is high school junior Cole Hagen. Just months ago, a wide receiver on the gridiron, but now beaten unconscious. The Brazoswood High School football player is in a hospital bed at Memorial Hermann. His older brother, Corey, tells us that fellow students are to blame. The doctor said yesterday that it was blunt force trauma to the back of his head. He's got um, fractures inward in his the rear of his skull on, on both sides. This morning, we're learning new details about this investigation. Lake Jackson Police Department released this information, confirming that officers were called out to a home at 1130 Friday night regarding an assault. According to police, 17-year-old Reed Mitchell from Clute was arrested on an aggravated assault charge. Prior to this release, the superintendent at Brazosport ISD issued a statement saying, quote, we're aware that a Brazoswood High School student was was the victim of an off-campus assault at a Lake Jackson resident by another Brazoswood student over the weekend. That student involved will not be on campus. Corey claims that his younger brother was lured to the party on Friday night and attacked in the street by a group of others, possibly friends, who were angry about his relationship with a girl. In the meantime, police say more arrests may be coming, adding in a statement, quote, at this juncture, we believe the identity of all of those involved has been established and other charges are pending. Now, the family also tells me they believe that there may be video of this attack. They and others have donated to a reward fund that they say will be given to someone if they are able to give that video to police. Of course, we'll continue to monitor this investigation and keep you updated if there's any additional arrests or charges. Reporting live near the Med Center, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, 